I love playing around with software tools, and the Windows Disk Management tool is one I have used a lot. It is quite capable, but the guys at EaseUs just sent me their Partition Manager. So in this video, I will be testing it and going through its quirks and features. This will be a complete review of the disk partitioning, cloning, and disk converter features. Now, the questions I have whenever I get a new tool, especially if it is a paid one, is, is it worth it? And are there native Windows tools that do the same job for free? I have answers to these, and you know I always give my honest recommendations. So, stick around till the end to hear my thoughts and recommendations. The installation is quite straightforward. Just visit the download link in the video description, click on Free Download, input your email and click Try Partition Master Free. Now click Download. However, if you want to start with the paid version, you should choose a plan and click Get Started. You will have the opportunity of inputting your payment preference. Once downloaded, double-click the file to begin the installation. It is pretty straightforward. The default interface after installation is very intuitive. You get an outline of all the core features of the tool. I have been given a license key, so if you are using the free tool, you may have less available features. We will get to this at the end of the video and tell you when you may or may not use the free version. EaseUs calls this tool the best partition manager for beginners. Well, at first glance, I will agree that it is very beginner-friendly. Clicking on any disk or partition brings out a set of processes you may attempt on the right pane. So, for example, when I click on disk 0, which is not the primary drive with my Windows installation, I get the following options. Clone, adjust disk layout, delete all wipe disk and properties. However, when I click on disk 1 where I have my Windows installation, in addition to the options I previously got, I get an additional option to migrate OS. It is all very intuitive. Comparing it to the built-in disk management on Windows 11, it is very similar, however. It bundles some very interesting features not found on Windows disk management. One such feature is the check file system. This serves as a comprehensive alternative to the Windows Check Disk tool. It takes a comprehensive scan of your hard drive or SSD, accessing sector health, and identifying bad sectors that may lead to data loss or drop in performance. After using the scan, you get a detailed summary, indicating if there are any bad sectors found and further actions required if any. If you look to maintain disk reliability, you will love this comprehensive disk check. Unlike the default disk manager in Windows 11, you may use a slider to drag a partition you need to resize. This is about the easiest and most logical disk resizing option, as it gives a visual representation of disk size in real time. You do not need to understand what 100 megabytes or 500 megabytes are. You simply get a visual representation of the partition. To create a partition, click on the unallocated space. This highlights it and activates the options you can use, which are displayed in the toolbar on the right. Here, we'll choose the option to create a new partition. Once you click Create, a window will pop up, giving you several options to configure your new partition. This is where you can customize how the partition will work. First, you'll want to give your partition a name in the label field. I'll call mine Backup, but you can name it whatever suits your purpose. Next choose a drive letter. This will be the letter that Windows uses to identify your partition, something like F, G, or H. For this demo, I'll go with F. After that, select the file system. For most users, NTFS is the best choice because it's modern and supports large files. However, if you're planning to use this partition with other operating systems like macOS or Linux, you might consider other options like FAT32 or XFAT. You'll also notice an option to specify the size of the partition. This is handy if you want to split the unallocated space into multiple partitions. For example, if you only want to use 200 gigabytes for this partition and leave the rest unallocated for later, you can adjust the size here. For now, I'll use the entire 417 gigabytes to keep things simple. Once everything looks good, click OK. You will see the new partition previewed on disk 0 in the main interface, but remember, the changes aren't applied yet. 
Ease Us uses a safety-first approach, so you can review all your pending changes before committing. If you're happy with what you see, click the Execute button, usually located at the bottom right of the interface. A confirmation window will pop up, and once you approve it, Ease Us Partition Manager will execute the changes. Depending on the size of the partition and the speed of your drive, this might take a moment. Once it's done, your new partition will appear as a fully usable drive in Windows. The wiping feature is one that you should try if you work with sensitive data. On Windows Disk Management Tool, you have the option to delete a partition. However, all it does is deletes the partition and marks the space as unallocated and removes the partition table entry, which is essentially the map to the data on the partition. Data is not erased. It remains on the disk and can be recovered with data recovery software until it is overwritten by new data. This means if you're disposing of the drive or want to ensure data cannot be recovered, deleting a partition is insufficient because the data itself remains intact. With the Ease Us Partition Manager wipe feature, you may choose as many as 10 erases or passes. When you select more than one pass, the software overwrites the data multiple times using different patterns like zeros, ones, or random data. Higher passes equals increased security. The more times you overwrite the data, the harder it is to recover, even with advanced techniques. However, each pass takes time, so higher passes will significantly increase the duration of the process. For this video, I will set the erase number to 1. Now I may click the Execute option, then Apply. This will take a moment, but now it is completely wiped. When working with Ease Us Partition Manager's cloning feature, you are presented with four distinct options to suit various needs. Let me break down each one for you. Migrate OS. This option is designed if you want to transfer your entire Windows operating system, along with all installed programs from one drive to another. This is particularly useful when upgrading to a new SSD or a larger drive. The tool ensures that the new drive is bootable. So once the migration is complete, you can boot directly into Windows without any extra setup. Clone OS Disk. This choice is ideal if you want to clone the entire disk that contains your Windows operating system. It's not just about the OS. This option copies everything on the system disk, including partitions, personal data, and system files. If you're moving everything from one system disk to another, such as upgrading your main drive, this is the option to use. Clone Data Disk. This option is specifically for cloning non-system disks, meaning disks that don't contain an operating system. It copies all the partitions and data from one storage drive to another. This is perfect for duplicating an external drive, backing up a large storage disk, or transferring all your data to a new hard drive without worrying about the operating system. Clone Partition. If you only need to clone a specific partition rather than an entire disk, this option is what you'll use. It lets you select a single partition, for example, one dedicated to storing personal files or a specific application, and copy it to another location, either on the same drive or a different one. This is especially useful when organizing data or creating backups for specific parts of a disk. I am selecting the Clone Partition option this time and clicking the Next button at the bottom. Now I can select my partition and click Next again. Now I click on the destination and Next again. Before proceeding, you should note that the process will completely wipe out all the data on the destination partition. This was a seamless process. And as you can see, the clone was a perfect match of the source. The disk converter feature of this tool is another one that I was very curious to explore. This is because I know many of my viewers use more than one operating system, mainly Linux and Windows. The thing about these operating systems is that they often have different preferences or requirements when it comes to partition table formats. For instance, modern Linux distributions and Windows 11 require disks formatted as GPT to enable UEFI booting. Older systems or certain workflows may still require MBR for compatibility with legacy BIOS. 
A common use case for disk converting is if you're dual booting Windows and Linux on a single system, you might need to convert a disk from MBR to GPT to ensure it works properly with UEFI-based bootloaders, like Grub. Both of my disks are in GPT format, but I may choose to convert to a new format. So as an example, let me convert the disk 0 from GPT to MBR. First, let us double-check the format to be sure it is not already in MBR. As you can see, it is in the GPT format. I click the disk converter on the left pane, select GPT to MBR and click Next. Now I select disk 0 and click Convert. Once the conversion is done, we can go back to check the format. As you can see, it is now MBR. EaseUs Partition Master is a versatile tool that bridges the gap between simplicity and advanced functionality. If your needs are basic, like creating or resizing partitions, built-in tools or the free version of EaseUs might be enough. However, for those tackling more complex tasks, such as cloning drives, recovering lost data, or managing intricate disk setups, the paid version shines. What makes this tool stand out is its ease of use. It takes operations that might seem daunting, especially for beginners, and streamlines them into an intuitive interface. Features like disk cloning, partition recovery, and bootable media creation make it a comprehensive solution for anyone needing more control over their storage. Ultimately, its value depends on your specific needs. For basic management, you might not need to invest in the full version. But if you're looking for advanced capabilities packaged in a user-friendly tool, EaseUs Partition Master is a worthwhile choice that delivers both power and convenience. That will be it for this video. If you have used this tool in the past, drop your comments and tell us your experience with it. Also, drop your comments and let me know what tool you would like me to review next. Till the next video, stay safe.